So you're probably wondering, over the past couple of days, where have the Demon Souls videos been? They're supposed to be a daily series. Uh, however, I got so fucked off with that goddamn dragon after yesterday, ruining what seems to be a kind of cool boss fight, I decided to take it upon myself to kill this goddamn dragon. However, it was a serious time investment with our current build, as you can see. Um, I had, we, we only had enough dexterity to use the basic longbow. So I sat there for what was probably the best part of 20 minutes, plinging at it, and then eventually moving way through to the second area where I got quite promptly roasted. Wasting all of that time. Anyway, I decided to go for a second attempt. Uh, once again, playing it at the dragon over the best course of probably about 20 to 30 minutes using uh, holy arrows, I think it was. Uh, we had enough souls left over to buy some decent arrows. And then I got killed again. So at that stage, I, I kind of lost my fucking mind and decided, you know what? Sod this. Instead, I went out and ground some souls. So the area after the Storm King or the Storm Ruler, whatever he's called, I went and ground our way up to 24 dexterity. Now, the good thing about this is 24 dexterity allows us to use the white bow. Along with that, I cloned a shitload of arrows because I was sick of buying fucking arrows. So I cloned a load just in case I died again, basically. Um, but the cool thing is that the 24 dexterity also can go to our regular weapons, as I recall. That has a S in dex scaling. From there, I also equip the Clever Rat's Ring as well. Clever Rat Ring, when you're at 30% or lower HP, gives a damage boost. I think it's a 50% damage boost as well. So I did myself in for a little bit until I got below 30% HP and start the whole process again. This time around, it was unsurprisingly a lot fucking quicker because we have higher dexterity and we've got a much better bow with the damage bonus on top of that. It took a lot less time this, this time around. I was feeling very confident. I thought, this is the time this fucking dragon dies. There he is, pissing off right now. Goodbye, you big dragon shit. Now we just gotta get past the two smiley guys onto the next area. Where I was roasted. I was roasted again. At this stage, I was losing my fucking mind. Apparently, I'd forgotten how to get past the dragon, despite the fact we did it a load yesterday. But finally, apparently at the mouth of this doorway, you can just stand below it and... Keep plinging away at it, and it can't do any damage to you. At this stage, it just becomes a, a sitting there, waiting. Luckily, I had just enough arrows. Thank God I cloned them in hindsight. And after that, big dragon body was killed. Mainly, it was me wanting to make the, the fight more community, the upcoming fight we've got. But it also counts, as you can see there, as a full-blown boss. You get a bronze trophy, you get yourself a boss soul as well. So that's another optional boss off of the tit list. I think we have to go kill the red dragon as well. So we will go and do that at some stage. I hope that's not another one of these, though. So dragon is dead. Long story short. I just want to check very briefly, because I said that with such confidence, but I'm not entirely sure whether or not this weapon does have um, the deck scaling. Uh, how do I see? Uh, item list display. Uh, yeah, it does have S deck scaling there. Okay, cool. So our meat cleaver, all that grinding out wasn't a complete waste of time, because it means our meat cleaver will also do bonus damage. We are still level 80 83, though, which is a lot higher than where I wanted to end this game. Had I have known that the dragon was gonna be such a... I might have, in hindsight, tried to keep us around soul level 70 and just plinged at it with a load of the basic arrows again. But that took so fucking long. I couldn't I couldn't go another day without having a video ready for you guys. So I wanted to get that done, basically. Anyway, um, I also bought a shitload of kunai just in case that works against the dragon. I don't know if it does or not. And then I picked up a load of souls as well, which I'm not gonna crunch just because we're already well over leveled as it is. Um, is there anything else we can drop off with my man Thomas before we move on to go and fight old man Allard again? Oh, running that thing over and over and over and over. The the two uh, fat officials always drop the moon grass. So we've got 38 new moon grass as well, which is pretty ridiculous. Drop off the white bow. Don't think I'll need that anymore. Drop off the last of our holy arrows there. Those are the ones that you can buy those after the um, the big fat piggy demon in the second area. No, no, no. After the old heroes lodestone, I think it was. Either way, it's in the room with all the Grim Reapers. Um, there's, there's a guy through there, Grave Robber Bilge, actually sells those Holy Arrows. So it's just a case of, again, grinding out more souls. Um, the cover right ring actually isn't we too bad, but I don't want to rely on it. Because obviously, it's you have to be below 30% health. Which I'd rather not be when fighting certain bosses. Let's go ahead and take that off. What were we using instead? Um, regenerator ring, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Cool. So then back to Old Man, whatever his name was. Now, bear in mind, I haven't actually played Demon Souls properly since... The last time we fought that guy, the past couple of days have basically just been me shooting arrows at a fucking dragon for what felt like hours on end. So forgive me, I'm probably going to fuck up this fight the, uh, a couple of times until I get back into the swing of things, or until I remember his moveset again. Um, although we do a lot of extra damage. Like, we are going to hit a lot harder now. So it might be a bit of a blessing in disguise, really. Ow, you big fuck. Anyway, 
Let's move along. We are slightly overleveled now, but it doesn't matter too much. Bear in mind, old man can suck our souls out anyway. So we could just have him de-level us a load, and then and then if we really were so proud about completing the game on soul level 70, we could do that. I'm not going to do that, though. I'm wasting enough time killing that fucking dragon. But I'm, I'm more about getting every boss fight killed, no matter the strategy, really. What did that say? Was that 371? Oh, wow, we can kill these guys in two hits now. Though they can also do the same to me by the looks of it. Please kill him. Please kill him. Thank you. Okay, good shit. <laughs> Let's go and heal up. We've got almost as much, much new moon grass as we have full moon grass. Good God. And then these guys... God, where we got the, all that extra stuff from then. Fucking hell, that's loads. We haven't got any in stockpile, Thomas, so I'm not sure... I'm not sure where I picked it all up from. Maybe that guy drops them as well. Anyway. Does this seem a lot louder? This is fucking loud in my ears. Hang on, let me just turn the game down again. I don't know why, but it's so loud. Um, all of my sound settings got fucked up again. I'm not sure... Oh, it's so quiet. What the hell? <laughs> Hang on, bear with me here. All of my sound settings got fucked up, and I'm not entirely sure why... Um, basically when I tried recording that little voiceover bit for the dragon, everything got so fucked. Right, let me turn that down like that. How's that? Uh, is that a little bit better? Hopefully that's not too loud. I can hear more heavy breathing. I hope it's one of those red knights and not the, and not the dragon again. Obviously we've got red knight. Oh, meant to do that. Just got red knight there. But other than that, I don't think the dragon responds. I didn't test it, but I don't think he will given that he literally gives an achievement for killing him. Okay, we can deal with these guys in two swings now, which is absolutely incredible moves. Four full moon grass, just what I wanted, thank you. After this fight then, I assume it's the end of the game. There is one other optional boss to kill as far as I know. Oh, look at this. Well, to be fair, these guys are still assholes, so we're not quite out of the woods, to be fair. 28 damage. What are you talking about? Oh, these guys suck. Their range attack is so much fucking damage, and the fact that they are so difficult to break in terms of poise as well. Kind of wish I hadn't got rid of the dragon now. Never mind. That's half my health in one attack. You guys suck. Okay, let's have another crunch. Let's not use any of the new moon grass on these fucking dickheads. So we're basically trading full moon grass for new moon grass. That's how I'm looking at it, right? <laughs> my god, that guy just rocketed off. I have a feeling the ragdoll physics... Bear in mind, we're playing this in 60 FPS, which is not the intended experience at all. The original game didn't go above 30. Um, I have a feeling some of the ragdoll physics might be tied very, very much like Skyrim to the frame rate. Um, which is why they are so, so... I mean, Dark Souls has some funny physics anyway, but these guys are on a whole new level. Right, okay. Let's crunch some new moon. I like this new moon grass. This is, this is good. 38 of it as well. Jesus. That'll carry us through the rest of the game. But as far as I know, there isn't actually much more of a game left to play. It's like this fight, and then there's a couple more as far as I know. Um, apparently, the last boss of this game is like really, really easy as well, which is a little disappointing. I guess they kind of kept that going for... I picked up all... This is where all the souls came from, by the way, was this uh, run-up to the dragon. It's kind of the same for Dark Souls. Um, Dark Souls, though, isn't it? The Gwyn fight is generally considered not as difficult as, uh, like, Ornstein and Smell, for example. Right, okay. Just make sure I haven't missed any items, perhaps, where I was running away from that freaking dragon every time. Here we go. Let's see if we can finally defeat Old Man, whatever his name was. I genuinely do not remember. Oh, Grandpa Crap. How I'll miss you when this whole experience is over. I'm going to quickly just pull up a list of optional bosses. See if there are any others we can pick off today. Uh, Demon Souls Bosses. Um, right, so bosses are sought by optional. King Allen is an optional boss. Not this King Allen. This is... Uh, there's two. There's old King Allen and there's regular King Allen. I assume this is old King Allen. Then Blue Dragon, which I've defeated. Maiden in Black. Red Dragon and Vanguard. So we've defeated Vanguard. We've defeated Blue Dragon. So we've still got to do Maiden Black, King Allen, and Red Dragon. And then that's it. But the Maiden Black, as far as I know... Again, I looked it up just to make sure that we weren't going to miss any bosses. As far as I know, it's kind of like a... It's kind of more of a story thing than an actual... Uh, than anything else. So it's just kind of like, oh, fight me if you must, Demon Man. That's it. It's, it's not like an actual proper boss fight. It's not something that's uh, so missable. Oh, I forgot to enchant my weapon, didn't I? All right, let's do it. But this guy is like the big boss of the game as far as I know. This guy's like the proper proper final experience, so to speak. Right, let's see if I can remember your moveset, big boy. Ooh, God, our moves do a, a bit of a... Oh, apparently not. 
Our moves do a bit of extra damage, don't they? Nice. And smash. 280. Oh, yikes. Get in there. I don't know why. I get weird. This might be weird to say. I get Smash Bros vibes from this dude. Like melee. Specifically melee. I don't know if it's like the... What was that? I don't know if it's like the um, aesthetic of the boss fight or something like that. Or is, is sound effects something, weirdly enough, reminds me of Smash Bros. Melee. And I can't explain what it is. God, his moveset is, seems more fucked up than usual today. Are you alright, old fella? Maybe he's sad because I killed his big dragon. Probably took him a long time to tame that. <laughs> he's so fucked up. What's he doing? I mean, the emulator updated. Maybe that's something to do with it. Oh, Christ. Oh, God. Oh, God. Get me out of here. Oh, God. Get me out of here. Trump. What's he doing now? Okay, ground slam. He's only holding his sword with one hand. Do you see that? I wonder if we fucked him up a little bit. All right, I gotta itch my nose. Don't attack me. <laughs> oh my god, what's he doing? That's so funny. I hope it's not some bitch mechanic. Like, if you die against him three times, he gets easier. That would suck. Um, Are you alright, brother? Is he just having a bad day, perhaps? Maybe I'm just having a good day, because this seems a lot easier than the last time we fought the fucking guy. I mean, obviously, we've got higher damage now. But not by much. And especially not against this dude. Oh, God, watch out for that. It's big grabby maneuver. Oh, I got such an issue nose. Yeah, that's it. Walk down the stairs. Are you all right? Brother, I feel like I'm bullying. Oh, okay. Well, I don't anymore, you big cunt. Oh! Yeah, okay, that hurt. Please eat, please eat, please eat, please eat. Roll. Oh, good. That was close. Uh, and I think you're probably done here, brother. <laughs> what was that? We genuinely just bullied that man. Um, I'll be honest with you. I feel like that bugged out. Because he was holding the weapon in one hand. We got 75,000 souls. Yeah, he, uh, he almost certainly bugged out, didn't he? I don't know what the hell the deal with that was. None of his movesets look like they were working properly. How did you defeat my precious demon? Oh, hello. No human has an appetite for souls such as you. Ah. Uh. The rest is up to the old one. If it is to be, then you shall be back in... Who is this? Was that... It sounded like the blacksmith. Um... How strange. Okay. So now we go back to the Nexus... And a thing happens. Oh, yeah, I thought he was... I think he's supposed to be kind of the big bad. And then the rest of it is all, like, moral dilemmas. That's how it was described to me, anyway. Okay. There's a big old fucking sword. Uh, which they've then now dropped. Oh, how anime. I take it the big final boss of the game is down there, then. But I heard the big final boss is easier than the boss that we just fought. 136,000... 132,000 souls. I'm not going to spend them. I hear voice of your. Do you? The old one is calling for thee. Oh Jesus, the voice actor. Let us proceed. <laughs> it's so bad. Let's proceed to its light. Is this it? Oh man, I'm gonna have defeated everything but the bloody. I'm gonna have defeated everything but the goddamn red dragon then. Come on then, off you go. Oh no, my anime wife has just pulled me down. <laughs> Funny if we just bounced off the side and died instantly. That'd be so good. Wow, this is a deep hole. Something, something, your mother. Here we are. The final boss of demons, souls. Oh, it's paradise. Oh, God, I, he's dead. The sword straight through the noggin. There she is. Demon princess with her fucking lens flares again. Good God. Oh, no. It's Cthulhu. I can't tell what it is because he's freaking lens flares. Is that a big tree? <laughs> tree? I am no tree. What is that? It's a walking graveyard. Oh. Okay. I, I'll be honest. I don't know what I expected as a final boss in this game. Tree beard was not it. That fucking Tarmogoyf. What are you? I mean, it's quite cool. Visually, it's quite a cool idea. Are those birds? Are those supposed to be birds? Oh, I th yeah, I think they are. I guess that's what we're fighting then. I have brought thee what thou wishest. Please stop thy doing that. Demon. Stop it! I hate it. 
Come now, be good. Old one, thou hast a big demoneth even, evened. <laughs> Verily, and forsook. Old demons famously speak broken Middle English. Oh my god, my controller is going nuts. Ah, huh. okay. I think we're going to need a bigger sword. I hate to say it. Definitely going to need a bigger sword. Uh, well. Uh, I guess we go inside his big old dirty gobber then. <laughs> uh, hello. Let us proceed below to its lair. Okay, thought you'd never ask. It's the best tender date I've ever been on. Never been on a Tinder date, I'll be honest. Uh, what's over here? Let's see if there are any secret items, but unfortunately not. Alright, let's go in then. Into its lair. Also known as its big dirty mouth. Excuse me, how do I get in? Uh, m'lady. Oh, sorry, I gotta hack it open. I thought that might piss it off, so I didn't want to do it, but... Really, is this necessary? Do you know how much stamina it takes for me to swing this sword? For a few branches. You have been chosen by the old one. Whoa. Shalt thou seek everlasting demon souls? Or obey that mighty monumental. A vocal break. Oh, look at this do it. You are our first visitor. May you be welcome here. Demon speaks with Phaser. That's so cool. Okay. Enter the fog. Surely you have seen King Allen. Hello. Suffering that fills this world. Uh, this guy is just like, um, this guy, as far as I know, is just like, supposed to be like a real sad, dirty demon, isn't it? Like, not the real boss fight, basically. That's why I said the last guy was kind of, I, I think, supposed to be the real end game boss. And then this is just all like, basically story from here on out. Um, wow, this is a bit strange. Can he even damage us? Oh, we can. Oh, this is sad. Maybe I'll let him have another hit. Go on. Go on, get another hit. Oh, go on. I'll let him have one more. I feel bad for him. There we go. You, you did well, King. Don't you understand? Uh, no one wishes to go on. Demon was dis destroyed. Yeah. Uh... Withdraw weapon. Oh, is this the moral choice, is it? We either withdraw the weapon and become a demon or press onwards. Uh, Thine work is done. Thank you. Thine work is done. Slayer of demons, go back above. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Maybe that was the choice and I just took it by... The Nexus shall imprison thee no longer. Okay. Have we saved the world? Have we done it? Uh... What's she I doing? Shall roll the old one back to slumber. Oh, okay. Good work. So I guess... The old king... Oh, so this is your choice. I guess we either do her in. The old one and I shall slumber interminably. Thou mayst go. So we either kill her, I guess, and become the uh, become the Lord of Demons. My thanks. Or we leave. At last. Right. Can I take this weapon? Can I just keep it? Soul brand. Oh, that sounds cool. What is that? Uh. Type large sword. Uh. Can I favor the blade for the way its power increases more demonic the soul? Right, okay, so I remember reading about this. This is the one where if you have Black World Tendency, it becomes stronger. And then there's another one as well. I believe behind the locked door at the start of Boletaria Castle, there's another dude we can kill to get the other one. Like the White World Tendency version. I guess this is, it. This is our choice then. Do we kill her and, and become a big old spooky demon man? Or do we leave? Obviously, we leave. Because it's one in fact. Grapple crap wrote down in his diary that his his grandfather, Grandpa Crap, people said that he married a demon princess. And definitely did not kill her. Maybe that's maybe that's a true story after all. 
Who knows? I'll leave it up to interpretation. Maybe that's why Grapple Crap was so powerful. Because he was part demon, sexy demon vampire uh, anime princess. Officially my new headcanon. The old one, along oh. with the maiden, were swept back into the lulling fog. Boletaria was spared from the demons, but also lost its knowledge of soul arts. I feel like it's a small price to pay, isn't it, really? The souls lost during the pandemonium were never retrieved. Ah, oh, okay. And today, the unstable world has another monumental to hold its fabric together. Grand Paul Crap. <laughs> Funny people like Blacksmith Ed. A brave What a plot hero. twist. Of unprecedented power. Thanks, DD. Very cool. Who has a better story than Blacksmith Ed? <laughs> so there we go. We only technically missed two bosses that being the Maiden, if you can even call her a boss, uh, and the other one being the Red Dragon, if you can even call that one a boss. And technically, the guy, I guess, that drops Soulbrand or whatever. And there he is, his Vanguard Demon. Producer, Masanori Ta Takeuchi, Aichi Nakajima, uh, and there he is, Hid Hidetaka Miyazaki, famous for Dark Souls franchise of video games. Men in Black's Demon Soul. Oh, you just get given it, you just get given it anyway. And there we go. New game plus. You have a lot of the gold trough. <laughs> I hope you guys can see that, the gold trough. Um, oh, so the, so the Men in Black is gone then, but the game continues as normal. Well, you slipped through the fissure too, did you? Oh, or it's just a new game. Oh, it's, I see, I see, I see. It's new game plus, so the maiden hasn't appeared yet. Right, got it, got it, got it. Oh, that's a shame, because I actually wanted to go get, but if we've got all our items, do we keep the keychain and shit? So we go back and get that other powerful weapon. Um, so you keep the false demon king soul, maiden black soul, I assume we keep everything. We've still got soul brand, um, but all your key items are taken away. Ah, got it. Well, there we go. That was Demon Souls. Slightly shorter episode than usual. So technically we didn't really miss any bosses. The other one was the Red Dragon, which was identical to the Blue Dragon fight, just shooting it down with arrows. The other was we can choose to kill the Maiden in black, but as we know, it's Grapple Crap's great-grandmother, or grandmother, or well, I, I, I need a proper family tree drawn up. Good work. Another game successfully conquested. What are we going to move on to next then? Well... Uh, to be honest, I really don't know still. I haven't thought about it. I did reinstall Sekiro, but I'm not... Sekiro's not a Souls game, I'm going to say it. Um, but also, I don't like Sekiro. Uh, it's just kind of there for me to potentially go back to uh, now that I have a lot more Souls experience under my belt. Or a more variety of Souls experience, let's say. Uh, maybe give that another go on my own time at some stage. I don't know what comes next. I'll leave it down to you guys in the comment section to come up with um, what you think would be interesting. And then I'll throw it together. Could be Dark Souls 1. We can move on from a Souls game entirely to something else and come back to the Souls series later on. I don't mind. But I'm glad we played Demon Souls. It's a good experience. Wasn't too long either. It's a really good game. It actually aged a lot better than I expected. To be honest, I'd even say it's aged better than Dark Souls 2. It ended a lot more punctually than Dark Souls 2. It didn't overstay its welcome. Like Dark Souls 2. Um, overall, I, th I, th I think it is a very good game. I think it's a very good game. It's a real shame it didn't get a proper remaster because it definitely deserves it. But you can blame Sony Entertainment for that one for being filthy little hoarders. Apologies about the shorter episode, but who d I, I wish we could have killed the old king the first time that we could have got all into yesterday's instead. But never mind. Thank you all for watching. And this is the final time you will see my man, Grandpa Crap. Goodbye.